this week's edition of Aquatic Adventures. It's about a Key Largo family who went through years of struggling with their young son's health, but his struggle led to something bigger that they could have never imagined. A special place in the Keys where people with special needs find hope. Here's CBS 4's Jeff Berardelli. The first few years were desperate um, in terms of his recovery. Peter Hoagland is talking about his son, Joe. Before the age of eight, Joe had to endure five open heart surgeries. And to make matters worse, a stroke paralyzed most of his body. Neurology teams that interviewed us and, and uh, examined Joe said there's, there's really not much hope. But Joe's mom, Dina, was determined to find something to help her son. Joe loved animals and he loved the water. So Dina took him to Dolphins Plus in Key Largo. Dina and Joe started working with a dolphin named Fonzie, and the success that, Joss, Joe, that Joe saw uh, in terms of his recovery was uh, unbelievable. When I saw Fonzie, all I, all I wanted to do was play with him um, because he was really the only one who accepted me. And with the help of Fonzie, Joe's attitude, optimism, and health improved dramatically. Now 24 years old, he's a perfectly healthy adult. But the story doesn't end there. Shortly after seeing Joe's response to working with the Dolphins, his mom and dad decided to start a program to help other people with special needs. In 1997, they founded Island Dolphin Care. For the past 14 years, the nonprofit has treated countless people with special needs. It's Joe's way of paying it forward. Every day we're working with, with, new, with new kids. Um, even uh, even wounded warriors from uh, Afghanistan, soldiers returning from Afghanistan and Iraq. But it all started with Joe. Um, you know, if we hadn't seen the success that we'd seen with Joe, I, I don't think we'd be here today. Um, so he's our inspiration. Some may say that Joe is a living martyr. From Joe's struggle for life arose this miraculous place that gives hope to thousands of others who pass through these doors. With this week's Aquatic Adventures, I'm Jeff Baradelli, CBS4 News.